All right, welcome back to section 1.2. This is part two. We're still analyzing graphs, um, looking at graphs of functions and, and figuring out what can we um, get from this. Um, so the essential question is still what types of information do graphs of functions give us? Um, what we're going to specifically learn in this section is how do we find out whether a graph has, give me a sec here, how do we find out whether a graph has a certain type of symmetry while at the same time being odd or even or even neither? It, can, it doesn't have to be either. So that's what we're going to learn. All right, so types of symmetry. There are a couple different types of symmetry. There is lines of symmetry. So you can see here, I think this is pretty standard in geometry. If you cut this triangle in half and fold it, it will it will look exactly the same. A square has three lines of symmetry, two, two, both diagonals, and then actually four, straight up and down, straight left. So if you fold it on that line of symmetry, it will match up perfectly on either side. So lines of symmetry, I think that's pretty easy. <coughs> but there all, there's also something called a point of symmetry. So if we look at this, this star shape here, it has a point of symmetry here. That means if I rotate this, by whatever degree that is, it will look exactly the same as it did prior to me rotating it. So sometimes there's something called a point of symmetry. Okay, so in pre-calc we have <coughs> three common types of symmetry. All right, the first, and it's all in, the, in this chart here. The first type is symmetry of the x-axis. So if we look at this V, if we fold this over the x-axis, you can see that it would line up. So there it has this line of symmetry here. So if you fold it, it will, it will, it will be a line of symmetry over the x-axis. On the parabola, the second type, if, if it would be the y-axis. So if we type, if we fold this parabola on the y-axis, you'll, you'll see that the, the right and left will line up on top of each other. And then last but not least, the hardest one to see is that if we reflect this point, x-y, over the origin, it would line up on this point down here so we can also have symmetry based on the origin okay and how can we test okay how can we test whether or not it has um, x-axis y-axis origin okay so for x-axis any point on your graph x y will also have the point x negative y so if we have two three 2, negative 3 will also be on that graph. So if 2, 3 is up here, 2, negative 3 will also be on that graph. Okay, for y-axis, x, y, what will also be on there is negative x, y. So if 2, 3 is also on this graph, negative 2, 3. So if you switch the x-axis, so if this is 2, 3, negative 2, 3 would also be on your graph. And then the last one, how do we test for origin symmetry? They both would turn into the opposite. Okay, so if 2, 3 is on your graph, negative 2, negative 3 would also be on your graph. So that's how we can test, <coughs> that's how we can test for x-axis, y-axis, and uh, origin. All right, so example one. It says use the graph of the equation y equals x squared plus 2 to test for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. All right, so let's look at the graph. You can tell pretty easily which, which axis this one is symmetrical above. Hopefully you see that it's symmetrical above the y-axis. Okay, so how can we test that? Well, let's look at a list of our ordered pairs. And you can pick out ordered pairs on the graph, but I've, I've made a chart here for us. If we notice the point 311, okay, let's, let's see 2, 6. 2, 6 is on the graph. So 2, 6 is right here. Here's 2, 6. Okay, what other point is also on the graph? Negative 2, 6. Okay, so what did x, y turn into? x, y turned into negative x, positive y. Okay, hopefully you can see here, y axis, x, y turns into negative x, positive y. And there it is. Okay. Now, how do we test this algebraically? Okay, so the next part we're going to do is how do we test this algebraically? So here is our at y equals x squared plus 2. We can test this using our equation as well. Okay, so here is the rule for y-axis symmetry. xy turns into negative xy. Okay, so what do we know? What's changing here? The, 
the part that's changing is the x. Okay. So what this is saying is that if I plug in negative x into my function, it will still look exactly the way it did to begin with. Okay. So here's my original. I'm now changing my x to negative. So my x is now changing to negative. Let's see if this is equal to the original. Okay. What is negative x times negative x plus 2? Well, hopefully you know that negative x times negative x is positive x squared plus 2. So as you can see, the original equation and the new one did not change. Therefore, it is symmetrical about the y-axis. Okay? Let's do one more example to hopefully make some sense of this. Okay, so it says use the graph of the equation, xy equals 6, to test for symmetry with respect to x, y, or the origin. Okay, so let's look at the graph. First thing you need to do is look at it. <coughs> if I fold this graph on the x-axis, so this, this top left will come to the bottom right, and this bottom right will come to the top. It does not look the same. Same thing if I cross it over the y-axis. If I flip this over here and this part over here, it would not look the same. However, if I flip this over the origin, this point right here would come to here, this point up here would come to here. It does look like it's re reflected about the origin. Okay, now let's look at the ordered pairs. So remember the, the rule for the origin x, y turns into negative x, negative y. Let's see if this is true. Let's pick one point out. Here's one point. Negative 3, 2. If we follow this rule, we have to flip the sign of the x, so negative 3 would turn into 3, and we have to flip the sign of 2, so this would turn into negative 2. Is 3, negative 2 also on the graph? You can see, yes, it is. So it is, it is symmetrical about the origin. All right, let's do this algebraically. So here is our original. Let's not forget that the rule for origin is you have to flip the sign of both the x and the y. So I'm going to flip the sign of the x, I'm going to flip the sign of the y, and we're going to see if it looks exactly like the original. Okay, so I flip the sign of both. What's negative x times negative y? That will turn into a positive x, y. So notice this is exactly the same. Okay? All right, so that's how you test for x-axis, y-axis, or origin symmetry. <coughs> we can also test to figure out if a function is even, odd, or neither. Okay, and here are the rules for even. Okay, functions that are symmetric, symmetric with respect to the y-axis are called even functions. So if they're symmetric to so y-axis, they're even. If they're symmetric, functions that are symmetric with respect to the origin, they are considered odd. And if they're neither, if they're not, not or neither, they're neither. Okay, so this is how we test. To test if it's even, you plug in, you change your x to a negative, it should like, look like the original. If you change the x to a negative, it should look like the entire thing is negative. And that won't make any sense until we do an example. So let's do an example. All right, so here is our function. We want to test if it's odd or even. So what we're going to do is we are going to change all the x's to a negative. Okay? So I'm going to change this x to a negative, so negative x to the third, minus 2 times negative x. And then we're going to simplify this and see if it looks exactly like the original. All right? So negative x cubed, that's negative x times negative x times negative x. Negative times a negative times a negative would be a negative x to the third. And now what's negative 2 times negative x? That is positive 2x. Okay? So let's see what we have here. All right, so what we have here is, what, what, what have we done? So f of negative x equals this. What have we done here? We changed the x cubed to a negative, changed the x cubed to a negative, and we changed the negative 2x to a positive. So what have we done? We basically made the whole function negative. Okay, so let's see here. Oops, back one page. So if you plug in negative x and it stays positive, then it is, it is even. If you plug in negative x and the whole thing changed to a negative, then we know we are odd. So what we did here is we, changed, we plugged in negative x. Everything changed to the opposite sign. So therefore, we have an odd function. Okay, let's do another one. Here is our function. So we want to test if it's odd, even, or neither. So I'm going to plug negative x in everywhere that we see x. 
Okay, and then we're going to simplify. So negative x, oops, negative x times negative x times negative x times negative x is x to the fourth plus two. What's a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative? Hopefully you see that that is positive x to the fourth plus two. Okay, so f of negative x equals, so x to the fourth stayed positive, two stayed positive. So the sign stayed exactly the same. So if we go back to our chart, if you plug in negative x and everything stays positive, like this one, then we have an even function. Okay, so this, we've determined that this one is an even. Because when we plugged in negative x, the x to the fourth stayed the same sign and the two stayed the same sign. So we have an even function. Okay, so we're going to save this last one here for class. So please remind me to do this one with you. We're going to figure out if it's even, odd, or neither. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night.